Hey guys, welcome to the show. I'm Hemi Cruising here, as you all know, with Thomas. Hello. And, uh... It's early. Yeah, it's early. I don't know what we're going to call this video. Bingo. Right now, it's just a vlog. Because... Well, I'm at Thomas's house. I spent the night here. He did. He's and like I'm gonna on this I'm gonna be here again tonight. But we're gonna wash his car today and oh, we may go to the coast to um the Gulf Coast Head Turners little weekly meet that they do just for the fun of it, because why not? And we also have to take his senior casuals. So we we may go down there and do that. It, it's kind of likely that we'll go down there and do that. But first, we're we're gonna get up and we're gonna go find some food and some dawn because it's currently eight eighteen. Yeah, you can't see that because the the brightness of the screen. But there's Poncho. But anyhow, um, yeah, I guess this will be vlog number four, entitled, Two Idiots Act Like Idiots. That seems fitting. Thomas, what are we doing? We're polishing my car. It's really dark under here because of the light, yeah. but that's okay. It's okay, you can kind of, you can see the front, how it looks very really good. I'm about to start wiping off the rest of this, I think. Wow, look at that shine. Look at that shine. This is his first time ever polishing a car. Yeah, I'm about to start wiping off some of this. Yeah. Thomas, what are we doing later? We're going to the meet. With, we're going to go meet with the... Uh, the, go the Gulf Coast guys. Because yeah. we're Central Mississippi guys, but there's no rule that says we can't go see the Gulf Coast guys. Yeah, and they're cool people. We've met a couple of them, and they're pretty, they're pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool dudes. So we're going to go down there. We'll see them, see what they, uh, what, what, what's, what's crack a I guess. I may get to drive Thomas's car, but it's no different than mine, because it's literally the exact same thing. Why is there a random battery over there? For those of you who don't know Thomas, Thomas just has random shit lying everywhere. Yeah. Like there's some there's some wasp wasp spray over there, and there's a bad there's a battery. I'm sweating a lot. We're gonna both need showers before we go. Probably. Oh well. This is the stuff we're using, by the way. Um, it's made by Turtle Wax. It's called Jet Black. Um, it's just uh, uh, it's part of their Jet Black line of products. If you're practicing polishing, use it because it's not very abrasive. Yeah, it's not a very aggressive polish at all. Um, so if you need something to practice with, or if your car's black, it comes with uh, it comes with some spray detailer, uh, wax polish and then some pads but we're using a polisher because it just makes it so much easier it does we've done half the car in like 20 minutes yeah which is great considering it took you like five hours to do your whole car yeah it hand. took me almost five hours to do my whole car by hand so took out the roof in like 10 minutes and it's just been great so far so yeah it's a show on the polisher it's like a 25 dollar yeah it's this polisher. thing from walmart Auto Spa. You can go to Walmart like. and get one. There's there's the box. It's worth it to get one. They're like 20 bucks. Yeah, 20, 25 dollars. They work great. And uh, at least well enough if you're not having to do it like aggressive polish. It's hair. putting that shine on. Yeah. I'm so, I think it works pretty well for, especially for the price. Yeah. Longevity is a question, but. Eh, we'll see. So, uh, Thomas boy right here just shattered my phone screen. I told him I'll buy him a new one. I was trying to, like, slap him in the face, and he holds his phone right in front of his face. And so my phone went face down onto concrete. We well, you gotta buy a new phone anyway, so, I mean. 
It, it needs a new charging port, so yeah. I, you know, might as well. Yeah, we'll go ahead and I'll, I'll pay for the uh, screen and you'll pay for the charging port and yeah. everything else it needs. It just needs a charging port yeah. and a screen. So we're gonna finish waxing the car now. We're onto that stage. We'll order the screen while we're trying to kill some time. Yeah. But I, I just wanted to show that off. He 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 broke my phone. How does this make you feel? You're gonna spend money on me. Yeah. It's thirty bucks. Thirty dollars. Yeah, bad. it's an iPhone six, so yeah. it's not like super expensive. But yeah, we've uh we've put wax on about half of the car, and just look at that shine. Well, what do you say we go ahead and finish putting some wax on? Yeah, let's do that. We got, he's got his little polish. Hey, yeah, he's just got his little polisher right there. Yeah. And then he's just gonna take and just coat some more wax on there. There you go. There you go. That's plenty, 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 plenty. Hold that. That was more than plenty, but. Oh well. It's so thin. It's hard to judge. Now he's gonna go to the other side. Am I doing the trunk lid or? Uh. We're gonna just do that later. We'll do the trunk lid by hand. But uh, he's gonna go to the other side and um, put this. Put put it on the paint first before you flick the switch, or it's gonna go everywhere. I'm trying to find it. There you go. There we go. This is how you wax your car, people. Yeah. Like a professional. There, I just rub some some wax on your back. So since you did that, you kind of ruined my shirt. So now we're even. Yeah. You still have to buy me a new screen. He honestly did not intend to crack my screen. Yeah, I was I just holding the phone, and I was like, "Rip." You held it right. You're, you forgive me. Yeah. You're not that mad. If I didn't forgive you, I would key your car. But I know how much that would hurt you, so. You know how much I would take my knife and like scratch your car and shit. Yeah. Stuff, so. We're gonna finish waxing this and then we'll get back with you with updates. All right, so we are done with the car. And take a look right here. This is what she looks like now. Look at the shine on that. Like, goodness, it's already getting pollen back on it, but trust me, it looks very nice in person. We got all the wax and everything. I put some tire shine on her and everything. It looks great, except for the hood, which I kind of already have to wipe off. But, oh well, we're about to go get some food. Brandon is inside cleaning. We're about to take his dirty old car out for some Subway. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll have a good old time. All right, we are on our way to Gulfport. Woo! We're gonna go meet somebody uh, down in Wiggins. We're gonna go meet him, and then we're gonna head to Gulfport. I'm in. We're in my car, and I'm sitting passenger. Yeah. So that he's way, tired. He he decided yeah. that he'd let me drive. Yeah, I'm gonna drive on the way back. So uh, this should be interesting. Hopefully, he does not wreck my car. Um, if you don't know how to drive it, he's kind of an idiot. You yeah. Kind of have like the exact same yeah. thing. The so, only difference is you have these nifty little paddle shifters. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. Yep. He's gonna break my car. He's, he's gonna breaking break my car. car. So yeah, we're <laughs> heading down there. Maybe we'll get some footage on the way. Who knows? Well, we have switched drivers. Thomas is driving now. I am. And we are in Gulfport. There's Chris up there. Not Chris. Uh, Jeremy. 
Don't listen to me. Jeremy, when you're watching this video, I didn't mean to call you Chris. I'm sorry, buddy. Yes, you did. But, uh... Like... What was that? I was recording a vlog segment. I'm sorry. Okay, on, go. Go for it. Uh, by the way, we got walkie-talkies now, which make communication yeah. way easier. Especially, yeah, on meets and stuff like that. <coughs> I mean, even with two people in yeah. the car, that works perfect. It's so much better. Yeah. But, the um, only problem is like when you start getting into the mile range, but and that if, if, if you're a mile behind, you're you're starting to get into some troubles there. But uh, this is a long. Anyhow, we're just gonna see where the afternoon takes us. I don't even, why did we come down here? Oh, we came down here for our car meet. That's right. Yeah. Meet up with the <coughs> Southern Head Turners. Yeah. West Coast Head Turners. Represent. For real. Uh, Central. All right. Well, we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right. So we have left the car meet at this point, the Southern Head Turners meet. Uh, yeah. What did you think of it, Brandon? Um, we kind of had to eat and run. different than really any other meet. Yeah, we kind of had to eat and run. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they they were still waiting on people uh, by the time we left. They, they hadn't even gotten inside the restaurant yet. So, uh, I don't know. It was, it was pretty good, though. Uh, we saw one of the guys that we met uh, at our uh, statewide meet. We saw him pull up after we left, right as we left. So, that was a little disappointing. Yeah. Oh, well. Sorry, Chris. We just missed you. Yeah. But, uh. So right now we are heading to take more pictures, more senior casuals. We're, we're right racing against time right now. Yeah, we're trying to get some decent sunset pictures, and it's not looking like we're gonna make it. Hope um, I, we'll see. What, what we're happens. on I ten right now, and I've got to cut across the highway ninety. I don't know exactly how far I am away from I one ten. Uh, I guess this is it up here. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. So uh, we may get it. We may not. Uh, we're gonna see. Yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so we're over here in Ocean Springs, and uh, we were taking some pictures from him, but I just want to point out this absolutely beautiful sunset we've got going on in the background. There's the Biloxi Bay Bridge that carries uh, US-90 across the Biloxi Bay, and uh, it's just beautiful. And this is, this is part of what, you know, enjoying cars is all about, being out on the road, being out in, outside. With people you love. With people you love, and it's just, it, it's amazing like that's beautiful that's so, that's absolutely beautiful stunning. and uh if you want to see some more pictures of that because we we've loaded down on yeah. pictures of that uh check me out on instagram at hemi crew cruising and uh, i'll have plenty of pictures of that so uh i just wanted to point that out that out real quick that's just beautiful out there it is i'm making i'm making snapchats So, uh, it's the next day. It's the next day now. We kind of um, forgot to do an intro. I guess this is just going to be one one big vlog now. Of course, we didn't get much footage yesterday, so that, yeah. that'll be pretty good. Um, we're going back to Taylorsville. We're going to go meet up with uh, Brandon, the guy whose Mustang I drove. Yeah. Because he's going to have an X-Pipe put on today. And uh, we're going to... He's going to get to drive your Charger, too. Yeah, he's going to get to drive Black Exorcist. But, um... We're gonna go get. We're gonna go meet him, get some lunch, put an X pipe on his car, and uh, we're gonna take him some more casuals. Yeah. Um, he's wearing the the Southern Miss because that's where he's going to college at. Super casuals. And um, Most, I totally didn't forget. For we'll probably take. Uh, we'll probably do a little photo shoot with Brandon's car while we've got it here. Yeah. Might as well. Maybe we'll do some Mexico speeds on the yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah, but um. We're gonna get on the road. It's what time right now? Ten thirty. It's ten forty. It's ten forty. Yeah, we're we, twenty we, minutes late. Yeah, but he he had to actually turn around and puck it and go back to Brandon to get his phone charger. So okay, well maybe we won't. Well, be too late. I told him there about eleven thirty. We had to push it back a little bit, but it's all good. But we're gonna get on the road and start driving and probably stop at a gas station and get me something to drink because I'm dying of thirst. But yeah, time lapses because I love those. So we're having an impromptu head turners meet right here in Taylorsville. We're just waiting for everybody else to get here at this point. 
aka one other person. We're waiting on Brandon with his Mustang. Who's gonna park right there? Or at least he better. He probably should. That's who I wouldn't. But I mean, obviously there all you need is two Mopars and you've got all you need. Yeah, and I mean Mopar and Mopar. There's an SS Camaro over there, but he's not with us. Yeah. Yes. He doesn't have an HT on Go his windshield. Come on. Okay. No. I've already tried, and he's just like, no, nah, man, I don't want to be in any car club. And I'm like, oh, okay. What a, what, a, what a man. Okay. I see how it is. Rude. Yeah, for real. We're going to go to Los Charos and eat some Mexican food because... Yeah, in Taylorsville, it's a pretty good place. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. It's like the best Mexican place within 20 miles because it's the only Mexican place within 20 miles. Yeah, so. Right yeah, outside. it is, but it's a pretty day actually. It's, it's, it's be great pictures. It feels good out here. I need to wash my car. I need to get the bird crap off of my. Yeah, he's there. got some. He's got some bird, some bird mistakes right there on his windshield. That was there with the. Uh, we left the car meet. Oh, we got some motorcycles coming up. Big old motorcycle gang. Oh well, they're not in head turners, so. Yeah, so they don't matter. Get, yeah. some, get some footage of them. Look, look at all these little motorcycles coming through here. Look at all of them. That's pretty cool. We drive nice cars. We don't drive motorcycles around here. We're better than you. Yeah, for real. Look We're at that. Better than you. They don't have Hemi power. Hemi power or no power, you know. For real. Here comes the, the slow one to the group. He takes so long to get here. It's, it's crazy. Look at that. Look at that. He just takes forever. So now, now the head turners meet's complete. Two Mopars and a Mustang. That's just how it goes. What's up? Hey. Don't be pulling no crowd control crap now. Tell them this. <laughs> Nah, I, t I told the audience on YouTube there, we we're having a little impromptu head turners meet right here. Yeah, a little mini meet. Yeah. But, uh, we're going to go get food now because I'm kind of hungry. Thomas, are you hungry? I am. We Brandon, are you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry too. Yeah, let's go get some food. <laughs> so we're out here at, uh, at John's shop and we're putting this, this stuff right here, this X pipe. On, to, the on the little V6, and uh, trying to make her roar. Yep. Trying to make it sound like a V8. John, how do you think that's gonna go, buddy? Huh? How do you think it's gonna go making this sound like a V8? Oh, it's got the chance of sounding like a V8. Yeah, it won't be fast like one, but I don't know if it's gonna run like one. This V7's not bad. They run yeah. like the motors, though. Well, yeah, like well, I mean, we drive land yachts. Yeah. You look over there, and you, I just see boat. Yeah. <laughs> I just see like boat over there, but. Yeah, kind of, we only have like a what, 2,000 pound disadvantage? Yeah. 1,500 pounds, somewhere in there. But, eh, we'll see what happens. It may, it may sound pretty good. Yeah. He's, he's got Borla stuff in here already, but. I can't, I bet I'm sorry. I did. Oh, they're, they're, they're rough. It's hard moving 4,500 pounds. Among other things here at John's shop, shop, we have the Subaru, which is 100% stock. That's 100%. 100% stock. Even the Colo, oh, when the Colos are aftermarket. What? No, they, they're stock. I painted them. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the air filter, that's stock. Subaru blue. Subaru blue. Everything is stock. And the stance, look at this back First wheel. Stance. Yeah, reverse stance. Look at that wheel. It's just, it's like this.
mind jump in there. You jump in? Oh, my only reason for that is just so if anything was to happen, keep your foot's on the brake. <laughs> yeah. You never know. Shit can always happen. I mean, the parking brake is set, but uh. Let's see what this sounds like. Hold on. So we just started the car with open headers. There's so a, there, here's the, uh, the cats. I did. It was recording. I'll just, uh, I'll just leave that part not time lapsed in with audio. There you go. But um, we're removing O2 sensors now. Not that you need any of that junk, but. We don't need that. Mm, that's for normies. <laughs> John's had to break out the, uh, the breaker bar because they're in there a little bit. I don't think it's coming out. You just slipped on it up. The real question is how am I going to get that in my vehicle to take that home? Uh. <laughs> That'll fit back here for you. Your seats might get a little dirty. I got a jacket. <laughs> but, um. I should have brought more than one jacket. <laughs> I got one small jacket. It's okay though. You Well, no, it's actually worse for you because you have cloth and yeah, cloth stains. Yeah, bad. Yeah. Shampooed anyway, the seats do. But uh, it sound it sounded pretty rough. Yeah, it sounded untamed for sure. I gotta turn the camera this way because the light is just like yeah. untamed, untamed. <laughs> He's trying so hard to make it sound like a V8, so hard. You're gonna spend so much money on making it sound like a V8. You could have just went and bought a 5.0 and swapped into it. Yeah. No, probably not. I haven't spent that much money. Yeah, there's you a 5 0 right over there. That's a 4 6. Uh, Unless you swapped it. Is that, what's that? Is that still the 4 6? Uh, 3 valve, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh. All right, hit it. All right. Woo. Rev it up. Well, Brandon, what do you think? I like it. <laughs> you like it? I do. What do you think, other Brandon? It's not a V8. <laughs> you would say that. <laughs> it's not a V8. Is that all that matters? Yep, that's all that matters. <laughs> well, darn. So, no matter what you do. It won't please him. Yeah, it still it's won't be a V8. Him, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's to be determined. <laughs> <laughs> we'll See, test that later. You're, you're you may get me out of the hole, but no matter what, no matter what you do, you are not going over 120 in this car. <laughs> yep, not at the moment, I'm not. And I can just keep going all the way to 150. Yeah. Dude, Gentlemen, why don't we settle this in Mexico? Let's do it. Let's go to Mexico. Let's go to Mexico, boys. All right, guys. Well, we're out here in Mexico. That is Mexico. <laughs> this is all in Mexico. We yeah, made. We just. Like Mexican though. We just made what a 4,000 mile trip in like. 10 minutes? Yep, yeah. Yeah. Um, yep. Yep. Nah, I don't need it. But uh, we're, we're just going to have some fun. Ain't none of us racing for anything. We're just dicking around because why not? Yeah. It's Saturday. Seems like a good thing to do on a Saturday. Yeah. And it's a beautiful day. I mean, yeah. it's hot. But, yeah. uh, it's so you're, you're going to get to see some passes. We're going to find out exactly what the difference is between my car and Thomas's car. Yeah. He's. He claims that there's a big, big difference, and I think we can all feel it, but we just don't yeah. know what it is. So we're gonna find out. Figure out what but it is. Let's get to some Mexican racing footage. What happened, Brandon? Uh, apparently I just beat a, a, a 500 horsepower supercar 550 Cadillac 
Uh, little thing to note, the car would not let me shift at 6,000. It shifted automatically at 5,000 and flashed in the display, auto stick disabled. Really? Mine's never done that. So I'm guessing that the, t the computer said, don't push it past this. That's water if y'all need it. Oh yeah, appreciate it. He may want to do a little better burnout, it's all, that's yeah. the only issue. Yeah. yeah. Um, look at you. That's, up on CTS <laughs> that was the only thing I, I really didn't feel a difference in the launch or anything. Yeah. But I, I tried, I held it, tried yeah. to get it up to 6,000 and it, it shifted it. on my car we just ran it it's sitting down there um I beat him. yeah he beat me barely just barely it was like not a, by much like a door um by now you've already saw my fantastic victory against a cadillac ctsv with a supercharger on it but that's only because uh he left rubber all the way to down there and yeah but um he left rubber all the way to down there and it got wobbly with him so he had to back out of it but we hooked the data logger up to my car and we learned that the timing is severely restricted and that is why my car does not want to do anything this car used to be a fleet car yep used to be run by a fleet or a rental agency of some type and they uh limited the crap out of it they tuned it down so for $350, we're going to fix that. But For I, some reason, mine uh, couldn't even be hooked up to the data logger. Yeah, he's. So we couldn't even hook his up to the data logger. I'm guessing just because the freaking... Uh, the, the PCM must be locked or something. I don't know. And uh, we'll, we'll figure that out when we get mine tuned. I also want to get a better tune. Yeah. Yours probably won't need much. Yeah. That's still like a little bit of... Yeah. But uh, as soon as I get like $350, we'll tune it and we'll see what happens. But I got to start making some money first. But anyhow. So donate to his Patreon. <laughs> yeah, I want to set up a Patreon. Donate to it. There's a... Starter. Brandon down there is about to run the Mustang. They just tuned a, uh, a two-step on it, um, which is like launch and all that stuff. So we're going to see what happens with him. He's about to get his ass completely whooped by a V6. Brandon just got the two-step put on and Jesus. <laughs> Brandon's about to die. He is about to kill Brandon. Dude, he's about to get his ass destroyed. The loser comes first. You got gapped. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we are about to wrap this vlog up. We have three clean cars now. <laughs> that, that that was Ooh, that, that was hurt. that was cruel. <laughs> that hurt. Yes, it hurt. <laughs> but uh, there there's there's one charger that's clean. There's another charger that's clean, and then there's everyone's favorite crowd. There, there's everyone's favorite crowd control Mustang the over here charger. that doesn't gap chargers. We, we didn't see anything related to that. No. I bet no, you don't didn't. post it. You probably won't post that. Not at all. <laughs> I posted on my channel, don't worry. Hey, it's like how he didn't post that uh, when he stalled your Mustang three times. Yeah. I didn't stall a Mustang three times. If you don't post, I'll be sure to post it on my channel. That's worry. right, you, you start a V6 Mustang three, three times. times. No. Nah. 
so good. No, I, I didn't stall anything. I, I can drive stick perfectly. And I beat a V6 Mustang today. No, you didn't. Where were you when that happened? I, don't, I, don't I was in my car. You sure about at that? At the end of the drag yeah, strip. Yeah, you got it. You do have to scratch. Yeah, I know. It's bad. Mine was like that too until I touched some up. But, uh... I'm gonna go on ahead and we're gonna end this video up here. Yeah, water spot spot all of you you? Because we're gonna go get food and yeah. <laughs> Food's good. Thomas yeah, approves of food. I approve. He's got an hour drive home, so he definitely needs some food before he goes and uh yeah. need something for the road. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna go get some food, but that this has been a good end to a two day vlog. Um it was yesterday. Hopefully it won't be forty minutes long. Brandon, please like trim it down. Life. Yeah, hopefully it won't be, but we'll Make see. Show all the races. We'll we'll see what happens whenever Every we get into editing. <laughs> uh, all sorts of magical things can happen in editing. It was in yeah. Mexico, by the way. Yeah, everything yeah. that you see in this video today was in Mexico. That's why it took two days. Yeah, that's yeah, why it took two days. There. Yeah, we, we had to drive there, and uh, yeah. now we're back. Well, we're down at the coast. It's a yeah. long drive. We took a boat. Yeah. Took a boat. Yeah. We got but, uh, all those ferries and pulled all our cars away. Yeah, exactly. Anyhow, thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you Tell didn't fanatics. like it, well, then you know what to do with that. Yeah. Leave your comments down Tell below. Fanatics. Uh, subscribe to get notified when we upload more awesome content. That's Brandon, and this is Thomas from Film, Film Fanatics, fanatics Film. who hasn't uploaded a video in three months. And uh, Hey, if it weren't for you, we would be uploading this weekend. Apparently it's my fault. It is. It's all your fault. He wanted to go get Gap by basically. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>